Come in. I should have known better. Of course I didn't come to scold. It's a sad, bad time, isn't it? Oh, I've been wishing so hard for a friend. <laughs> well, there you are. Wish fulfilled. Thank you. Thank you so much for still caring about me, with all you know. With all I know. All I know and all I love about you. You're a princess, Jill. You have been since you were a little girl. That's what I know. And what you managed to do last night only went to prove what a generous, noble, downright decent person you are. I haven't felt very decent lately. The other woman doesn't feel very decent. Don't you talk about yourself like that, not in front of me. You're a fine, lovely girl that my son fell in love with. And I can't say I blame him for that part of it. Frank had come to me long before this to tell me what a wonderful person you are. I would have told him I know how wonderful you are. Wonderful enough to... to give him up when you knew that that was the right thing to do in the end. Oh, Maeve, it wasn't easy. I wanted to put up a hard fight for him. Mm -hmm. And you'd have won him. I know that. What was my admiration for you? Darn, it's my admiration and my love for you that makes this all so hard. I lose patience with Delia. I mean, she's Frank's wife and... No one knows better than I the pitiful things that make it the way she is, but there's two ways of loving. One with your hands closed, holding on and taken, saying I love you. And the other with your hand open, I love you. Thank you for opening your hands. <laughs> they feel so empty. Oh, I know, I know. It's your marvelous self-discipline sense of justice that tells you what you could have but tells you at the same time that it would have been wrong for you to have it how I would have admired those qualities in Frank's wife he found a treasure when he found you darling but he found you at the wrong time under other circumstances you'd have been a perfect match for Frank you're so right for him but Hired someone else. Oh, Maeve. Do we have to spend a whole lifetime paying for our mistakes? It wasn't a mistake when Frank married Dealey. He married her out of love. Maybe not the same kind of love he has for you, dear. But nevertheless, Frank married Dealey because he loved her. And he fathered her child. And if they've fallen out of love, well, they'll have to find a way to fall back in. It can be done. And now that Frank has decided to stay with Dee, they'll have that chance. But you, they'll have that chance because of you. I know that. Frank knows it. And I hope and pray that one of these days Dee will realize it and be as grateful to you as I am right this minute. Oh, Maeve, you make it sound like we could all be friends one day. Ah. Wouldn't that be fine? Maeve, I don't want to be Frank's friend. I want to be his wife. Darling, he has a wife. But I love him. I know. I know. I love him so much. Oh. And I love you. I know that I've lost Frank, but Maeve, I couldn't bear to lose you. You'll never lose me. Not after what you've done for my son. No, and I don't think you've lost Frank either. You see, one of these days, you'll be true close friends. And I'll tell you something. Friends sometimes can get you through this life of ours with a lot less pain than lovers. Oh. <laughs>